out and we just getting out looking at the map. And uh, we've had a day and a half like you wouldn't believe, I mean. <laughs> if something would go, it'd go. But anyway, we've had fun getting here. And just so happened they were out checking the sign out. There's a campsite here, so I'm going to back up in here and get out and drain my radiator. So I jumped out and kind of walked back through there and stumbled on a nice little buck trail. Little buck rub over there, two buck rubs over that way. Patch of deer hair where they come up through the thicket or something. So just by luck would have it. After the day we've had, that's a good sign to find when you get out and you're just kind of at the end of your at the end of your wits and you see something like that. That's just kind of like <sighs> open up a Christmas present. So we definitely geared up for it. We got Jason back here getting the campsite for us, set up for us, building up a nice little circle for the fire and all. We're gonna get to getting everything unstrapped, set that up. And once we get that, we got enough daylight. We're gonna scout up across here. And See if we can find a good spot to throw Jason up in the tree. And from the sign we've seen, I think uh, if we don't see anything, at least one or two or something, I'll be highly surprised with the sign that we've seen and the trails that we've picked up and all. I think we stand a pretty good chance at least seeing something, hopefully getting it in bow range. And uh, get some good footage on here. And let's get to work and get this campsite set up because after seeing this, I'm definitely geared up for it. Filling our campfire for a camp. It will work, but found a good spot finally after we've been hiking around all day. Went through trouble. Store again, licenses and all that. Got that all situated and taken care of. Like uh, RC was saying, found some buck rubs and uh, scrape and some hair. And we found the campsite. We heard a couple, some take off down the hill there. Setting up camp right now. And then going to go scout a little bit. And hopefully in the morning we can get up and lay something in. Here we are. We got our tent and everything set up. Both of those big ones set up you see behind me here. And our little one we're keeping our food in. Finally got it all set up. It was a little bit of a pain trying to get the big one set up, but it's set up and we're ready to roll now. We're gonna get ready to go out here real quick and uh, when we first came in earlier, found two good spots. One good spot for uh, set up a trail where we've seen those rubs and stuff at. We're going to set up a stand up in there to do a double for me and Steve in the morning. And then um, we're going to go up here on top where we're seeing another trail up this way. Up this way for Jason. Up on the hill there's another trail up there. So we're going to set up top here and see if we can get another little spot for him to set up. Because he's going to do his first uh, time videoing himself. Seen how it is to actually get a cell phone camera. He's going to be using my camera, my tree arm. So we're going to get him set up and see if he can uh, pull through. So we've been giving him some tips between me and the cameraman behind there, Steve Swartz. And hopefully we can he can pull it off the first time. Now you may see some shots on it that he can't get or don't get or whatnot, but I think he'll do pretty good for us. He's been doing pretty good for us so far for us. So I think he'll get us some pretty good footage in the morning. I mean, it'd be his first time by himself. You ready for it? Yeah, I'm definitely ready for it. I can't wait. Hopefully we all knock something down. I'll tell you one thing. I mean, the sign we've seen, I think we stand a pretty good chance of seeing something. Oh, one of yeah. us anyway. Yeah, and hearing three three barn owls too. Yeah, that was pretty cool hearing yeah. the barn owls going off. That was something definitely wild I never heard before. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? Not even up in Clear Spring, where I'm from, I never heard nothing like that. Heard coyotes, that's about it. We're definitely up in, in the mountains, man. It's, it's awesome up here. Just a view. Something me and Steve's been wanting to do for a long time, and I was glad Jason was able to join us on this. He's uh, one of the new guys we got part of the team this year. Him and uh, we got two other guys. He's one of the ones able to join us this year, and uh, we was tickled to see him come out with us. And 
he's pretty geared up as one of his first trips out away from where he's used to hunting so in a sense it's almost like he's kind of out of his element a little bit yeah but in another sense it's really gonna give him a chance to uh, put his skills to test and we're going to show him a few tricks that we know between me and Steve and hopefully one of us put something on the ground Sassafras. Saw some grub. We've had a long day. We all pretty hungry. Hang my bow right here. You ready for this, RC? Oh, I'm totally ready for this, brother. Looks like you're sweating a little bit. Huh? Like you're sweating a little bit. Warmer, we used to back to about 50. A little work coming up trying to leave up in the tree with these climbers. This Hoping is it where, cools down. This is where the cover all cover set comes in handy. That is 100 percent for true, brother. It's breaking day pretty quick. We got a beautiful view back in the back. Fog up on the mountains, man, is awesome. Checked it out yesterday and got in here late. He's doing some late scouting. I just kind of stumbled upon this trail coming down through this way. Nice buck rub. Let's scrape up toward that way. Coming in, we put some, uh, some sitting on our feet coming in. We got some deer ease out down there. We've had a lot of good success with this. Deer seem to get nuts over it. It's like a peanut butter, it's like a common sense for deer. You know, putting on our boots coming in, that way it covers up our scent coming in. Just put a nice little scent trail down for them. And uh, in the past, we've had them come right into it, put the nose right down to it, start eating leaves and licking it off trees, wherever we put it at. And we're hoping to hopefully catch something up here. Hopefully it's getting settled in here. And we'll catch you here in a bit. So we're going to get ready to get things packed up and get down out of here. When what we uh, went to put down for the first day. But seeing the squirrels and everything in the woods, turkey was nice to see after not seeing no deer. So at least seeing turkey like that, and big turkey, big old gobbler flared up. That was a good time seeing that. One thing's for sure. So the next time we get in the stand, be tomorrow morning. I want to see where we get in here. But tomorrow morning, Steve's up the bat. 